and Jaleel Okafor, the sprained ankle against North Carolina last week, sat out the Clemson game. But as you said, looks pretty spry to start off tonight's game. And what they're doing right now is taking away the paint from Duke and forcing them to be a perimeter jump shooting team. Rhythmic fadeaway from Okafor. Nice kick. Bibbs from the corner. Yes. And Buzz Williams wants a timeout. A couple early turnovers led to some easy baskets for Duke, which allowed Duke to get out to a double-figure lead. But since then, they settled down and started to attack. Duke off the bounce with plays just like that and knocking it down. Ends up with Devin Wilson. I love the push. And the finish plus the foul. This is the way Virginia Tech needs to play all night. The early push. They are so good off the bounce, especially Devin Wilson. He's explosive in the open floor, the change of direction. He's excited here in the castle. Ron Baker of Wichita State is going to have to have a great game. Beautiful pass underneath. Devin Wilson with the setup for Satchel Pierce. Down the lane goes Justice Winslow again. Duke's ability to knock down the three ball has been a difference in the second half. Cook hits another three. Dribble penetration and the kick has been really good for Virginia Tech. Bibbs answers. Nine made threes for Virginia Tech. Nice pass. Broken up. Stolen by Winslow. Pretty. Okafor off the feed from Tyus Jones. Rising up and knocking it down is Justin Bibbs. Tied with 49 seconds to go. Devin Wilson's going to drive and try to kick. Yeah, they're going to Hudson here. Here goes Hudson to work. Leans in. A little too strong. The tip follow won't go. It's loose. Ends up with Tyus Jones. Throws it the length of the court. And we are going to overtime here at the castle. Okafor steps out. There's that mismatch. Throws it inside to Winslow. Easy two. Cook from the corner. He's got a three in overtime. Duke survives against Virginia Tech.